Um, I tried making an avatar, and this happened. Hi, I'm Dr. Trapezoid. I'm going to walk you through my very first VR chat avatar commission. For this VR chat commission, I'm going to show you how to upload a VR chat avatar. I'm going to show you how to add audio link to your avatar so you can light up when you listen to music. And then I'm going to also show you how to make the ears floppy or less floppy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start part one. So in part one, I'm going to show you how to basically create your first avatar and upload it to VRChat, right? So first step is go to VRChat.com. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to set one up. And then you're going to go to Downloads. And then you're going to download Creator Companion. That's where you're going to start. I've already had it downloaded, um, so it's going to look a little bit different kind of going into it, but this is where you're going to need to start. So I'm going to go ahead and open Creator Companion. And this is what it looks like for me. When you first download Creator Companion, you will need to download Unity through the Creator Companion. So make sure to keep that in mind. Or it might have you download it whenever you start a project. So I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to call it uh, you know, Tutorial Part 1. Uh, you have a couple options here if you want to make a world. An Avatar in Unity 2022. Avatar in Unity 2019 and a world in 2019. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, Unity 2022. Some avatars might be only compatible with 2019, so that's something to keep an eye out for. For this one, we're going to use 2022. A project. So at this screen, this is where you can add some packages that you might need. Uh, for the first tutorial, we're just going to keep keep it how it is. But, uh, you know, next tutorial we'll probably use VC Fury or we'll use Audio Link and some other ones. But for now, we're just going to keep it how it is and just open project. So now that we have Unity open and we verified that uh, VRChat SDK is there. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop my uh, avatar into Unity. This will pop up and just click import. There we go. And so now we're going to go ahead and drag and drop our, our uh, prefab into the world. And I like to center them because usually if you're adding clothes or something, it makes it a lot easier to center them and it makes it a lot easier to align things. So the next step is kind of making a new texture. So I like to take this, I copy it and I move it into a new folder. And you can edit these textures using um, Photoshop, Substance Painter, um, Rita. There's a lot of different softwares out there. Um, I used Krita and I made this little one here and so most of it's just kind of going in and putting the colors you like um, and so that we can kind of look more into that if you guys would like but I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop this texture I made uh, for my friend so to apply the texture go ahead and um, open up your materials and drag and drop the texture you made under the main texture you should start seeing them change now uh, this this avatar has one main texture uh, but a couple other avatars you know might have more than one I'll show you uh, my otter my otter has a couple for the accessories and the shirt and whatnot so just as an example for my avatar, I have I have multiple different um, materials and shaders for each one. So I have uh, a specific shader just for my body. There's a specific shader and material just for my shirt uh, and the accessories I have over here. So it just depends. This one uses uh, multiple different textures and materials uh, compared to our, the commissions only using one. So now that we have the materials applied, we can go ahead and upload it to VRChat. We're going to go ahead and click on our avatar. We're going to go to VRChat SDK. 
and control panel. This is where you're going to log in. So we're going to call it, you know, we're going to call it our first avatar. And private and public, it just depends. If you want a friend to copy your avatar uh, to make TikToks or anything like that, you definitely want to make it public. <clears throat> if you make it private, no one's going to be able to clone your avatar. So it depends your preference, you know, if you want it to be a private or public. You can still have it be public and turning cloning off. So people can't take it but that's more of a preference uh, i'm going to go ahead and take uh, i like to take a capture from scene so that way i know which avatar is which um and you can uh I just click capture you can upload your own custom pictures if you'd like uh and then kind of go through and look and see if there's any outstanding issues so sometimes for me like i have to you know auto fix this it looks like we're good here. Um, you can build and test it within Unity, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go and straight to upload, build and publish. And I'm just gonna save it. We're just gonna call it our first avatar. And now it's uploaded. And now next time you log on to VRChat, if you go under Uploaded Avatars, you should see it in there. So in this tutorial, I just showed you how to upload your avatar to VRChat and how to apply materials and textures to your avatar. In the next video, we're going to kind of dive more into Audio Link and how to set that up. Audio Link is a really cool feature that allows you to have lights flicker on your avatar based on the music. And it's a really cool. If there's any questions or anything I didn't cover in this video that you'd like to see in another video, please leave a comment or check out my Discord and let me know, and I'll make sure to include it.